All right, chaps, ladies and gents. I mean, all right, everybody. Let me just move this wire out the way. And I think it's about time we got on with some high voltage experiments. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Because you know me, I cannot stay away from the high voltage stuff. So, hang on, I've got these two high voltage transformers here. It takes 230 volts in and 4800 volts out. Or 4,800. And I know in the past I've said that you can touch the arcs from Tesla coils. Well, this is no Tesla coil. This is low frequency high voltage, which is a lot more dangerous than high frequency high voltage. Even though the voltage is not quite as high as what I get out of the Tesla coil, there is enough current available out of one of these transformers where if you touch this, you die basically. This is almost as dangerous as a microwave oven transformer. And I'm going to be arcing these transformers. Now to that guy who hates my videos when I play with high voltage, you know who you are. I can see your reasonings, but I know what I'm doing. I'm safe. I mean, I'm going to be doing this at arm's length with one hand behind my back. And also, the blade of this screwdriver is connected to ground, it's connected to earth, it's not connected to any live part of the secretary, so there's no way an arc can jump to my hand and give me a lethal shock. Anyway, with that all said, let's see what these transformers can do. Alright, so I'm going to be powering these off a ballast. Alright, so, power should be on right now, so, see if we get an arc. Oh yeah, I can already hear that bristling. That's working. This is the first stage. We want to test that each transformer is working nice and good. Alright, just to make sure the power's turned all the way off. I've got this plan to make a 9600 volt transformer out of these two, wiring these two back to back so we get 9600 volts. Alright, I'm going to try it with the ballast with just a little bit more power as high as I'm going to go with these transformers. Of course it would help if I turn the power on. So we know what we get out of this one. Now let's see how well this one works. Okay, well here we are with the other transform... Well, here I am with the other transformer. There's a nice unintentional way I know which transformer's which. This is the transformer that I was just using. And this one has got a blob of solder on it right there. A drip from the soldering iron. So let's see how well this one works. Okay. Got to hear some Corona. Beauty. So, both transformers are good. Now, let's see about making that 9600 volt power supply. Okay then, time to test out our 9600 volt power supply. So what we've got here is the two transformers. The primaries are connected in parallel, and the secondaries are connected in series. So we've got this end of this transformer is just going to a wire in the air, and this end of this transformer is just going to a wire in the air. And the two transformers are connected together here, and that point where the two transformers is connected is also connected to ground. It's very important. Because without that, each transformer is going to see more voltage across it than it should, and it could arc out, and you know, we don't want that. So, neither transformer is going to see more than 4800 volts across it, so that's nice and good. Alright, so first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test the arcs from each transformer to ground. Okay, circuit's hot. You can already hear some high voltage bristling. So, just this transformer first. That's good. And this one. Perfect. I also know for a fact that this is interfering with the camera, so if you see the picture freeze up for a second or so, 
there's really not much I could do about that, but so far so good. Alright, it's time for testing arcing between the two transformers. Got my chicken stick already here, it's just a plastic rod with a wire taped to the end of it. So if we get an arc between here and here, we'll know the transformers are 180 degrees out of phase and nothing needs to be done. If there isn't an arc, then I'll have to reverse the phasing on one of the transformers. So, safety's off, power's on, high voltage is bristling, let's see what we get. Oh, that's much better. It's perfect. Ninety six hundred volts of raw power. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, maybe not quite as much voltage as a neon sign transformer, but you know what I like to do? I like to make things if I cannot get them myself. And I think I've got a nice power supply there for a spark gap Tesla coil that I might make in the future. And did I die from doing these experiments? No, look! I'm still alive, I'm still here. My ugly face that probably just broke the camera, but there we go. So yeah, until next time, goodbye. Now I've got to think of what I'm going to do next.